when this caucus first met uh, and in uh, November and December, we set out three priorities. Uh, the first priority was to create a business-friendly environment uh, and to bring jobs to the state of Minnesota. The second was to balance the budget without raising taxes, live within our means. And the third was to reform government to make it smarter and more user-friendly. We want to make Minnesota the best place to start a business and expand a business. We want to plant a flag at every border that our state is open for business again and that we will do anything to help a job creator. So with this bill, we want to give job creators a reason to choose Minnesota, to take a risk in Minnesota. You know, it is, uh, job creators have more choices than ever. And with the click of a mouse, they can move employees and ideas and capital to different states and indeed different countries. We don't just compete with Wisconsin and Iowa anymore. We have to compete with Singapore and Malaysia. So we... Minnesota has the third highest business income tax in the country, the third highest. We're going to cut that in half over six years. So we're going to roll back the statewide business property tax and take the inflator. There's an inflation index that the state has put on it. So we're going to roll, roll back the statewide business property tax to roughly 2009 levels. And, and we also want to reach out to the governor. We want to re reach out to the DFL. None of these items... Uh, I'll say it this way, all of these items have been supported by DFLers, uh, including Senator Bach in the past. There's a symbolic importance to it. Um, as job creators in other states and indeed in other countries start looking for a welcoming place to do business, they see our third highest business income tax and they're scared. There'd be a $200 million cost in the, next, in, in the coming budget, the budget that we will put together will include uh, $200 million in tax relief, roughly half of it on the income tax portion, the other half of it on the property tax uh, relief. We go forward from today, again, really focused on job creation, uh, looking forward to rolling up our sleeves and doing a lot of work in the committees. Um, we're going to have to do a lot of things differently around here. And uh, yes, that includes some cuts, and yes, that includes reprioritizing, but I, I think we, we look at this budget challenge in two ways. One is the state is going to take in $32 billion. Well, that's our, our, our job is to prioritize that. How do you spend that $32 billion? How do you spend it in a smart way? How do you spend it in a way that also attracts jobs to Minnesota? Again, we've, we've seen different majorities and different levels of government try to prime the pump and get the economy going again with government spending. And that's not a philosophy that, that this group before you today is going to agree to. I, I think we come at this with some humility. You know, this is, uh, this is a start. It's the football season. This is the kickoff. But there's a lot of good ideas in the people behind me. Uh, there's a lot of good ideas, I hope, in, uh, in the minority party and in the administration. So th this, is, this is by no means meant as... Here's the end product, take it or leave it. That's not how the legislative process works. That's not how this caucus works. And uh, I expect we'll hear some more good things, and hopefully we'll be able to come back to this kind of podium with uh, some additional provisions for you. I think policymakers need to be very careful about what they promise, about what they commit to. I can't commit to a job number for this. You need, you need to talk to Minnesota job creators. I hope it'll be great. I hope it'll be a great number. And I, the, this, this will be paid for. Uh, this will be paid for with cuts. I also believe in the long term it will be paid for with growth.